Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be having our very first look at the brand new Attack on Titan character, Captain Levi. And uh, yeah, we're going to be taking this man out for a bit of a spin in normal PvP. I only got one copy of him, so he's only single Super Awakened. However, I think that's some pretty good draw uh, on the first turn. I'm very, very happy to see that. We've got two of like the single target spike card, so that deals uh, double damage if it's a critical strike. And I I think he's got this ability to like guarantee that he crits the lowest health target uh but yeah we didn't really have the best turn there because we just got instantly attack disabled so that was uh you know not really not really ideal uh but let's upgrade goddess liz go for an upgraded shield here and then i'm just trying to think who we want to stern um maybe derriere maybe gotha I, th I think we probably want to stun actually lilia in all fairness just to um uh, make sure that there's absolutely no chance of us getting drained next turn. Because then if we can fire off the damage reflection shield we got us Liz, then uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about Derriere so much. Unless she gets ult, then we're in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what happens. So, oh, we got some upgrade cards as well. Oh, it's making me a bit tempted, man, to go for a, uh, a Levi play here. But are we getting attack disabled? Okay, so I, I think the, the shield absorbed the uh, attack disabled on Levi there, which is a pretty damn good time. And then I think what I'm going to do is we're going to upgrade on Levi here. I think I need to attack the opponent with the lowest health, so I think we go for Lilia, even though it's disadvantage. So yeah, let's, let's try the gold there, man. Let's try the gold. So I think attacking into Lilia, this should be a guaranteed crit. I was testing it out a little bit earlier, but hopefully it works in PvP. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. 24k, it's alright mate, I'll certainly take that. <laughs> right, then we have his Ultima and uh, a couple of Silver cards to follow up next turn. But I'm, I'm a bit worried about that Dairy Man, a bit worried about the Gotha as well. I guess we can drain the Gotha next turn, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem unless he has a Lilia Drain, which it looks like he does have a Lilia Drain. So yeah, I think we're in a bit of trouble there. But the good thing is Lily is going to take a fair bit of damage on the reflection, so we can probably burst her down next turn. So yeah, let's go for, um, should we upgrade Levi here? And then let's go for the swoop on everybody. And then I don't think Ghost is going to die. I think we got to go for it anyway. We'll, we'll try it, man. We'll try it. So this inflicts despair damage, so if it crits, it also heals us a fair bit there. So Lilia goes down. And then I'm hoping for like a crazy crit on Gotha. Probably not. <laughs> oh, dude, that was that was not too far off in all fairness. We are going to get uh, a bit minced by his ultimate next turn. But maybe we have some follow-up to win this match. If we can get that Gotha down next turn, which we should have a guaranteed crit into... Um, and then CC the Derry, because Derry's probably going to have ult next turn. So yeah, if we go single target with Levi, if he is attack disabled, that kind of ruins my plan. But I guess I can just upgrade Goddess Liz and like double stun. But yeah, Levi with cosmetics and uh, four star super awakening could have like even more firepower. So just to, you know, throw that out there, man. There are bigger numbers that are uh, potentially achievable with this character. Uh, but the reflection was uh, was perfect there. That worked out very, very nice. I think he uh, maybe didn't consider that. Is the evasion for the whole turn, or is it just one attack? Oh, man, I've totally forgotten. Actually, it shouldn't matter too much anyway. So I'm going to upgrade uh, Levi, and then we're going to go for this, and hopefully that gets Escanor low enough that we can just smash into him as well, because we have Goddess Liz's, like, revive, so that should that should be okay. So Derry evades that, um, but now I think we got enough damage to yeah get guaranteed crit on Escanor, so that gets him down a fair bit. Dude, Levi's animations are very fun. I wish he was a little bit quicker, <laughs> just because, dude, like Levi versus Beast Titan is like the best thing. And I, I kind of wanted like Beast Titan Slayer Levi, whereas more, this is kind of more like Season 1 Levi. But uh, who knows, man? I think with the, the characters that they've added, they've got the potential in the future to add uh, more Attack on Titan collabs and characters. 
for all sorts of stuff. But I think we're going to go for this. And then I'm also going to um, I think just merge on Gotha here. Just want to stun the Dairy for a couple of turns, man. Make sure she can't ramp up. Because I think if Dairy doesn't do anything, she loses her uh, stacking attack buffs. So that's uh, definitely what we want there. Oh, okay. We got a really nice play on Levi next turn, man. We can just go for two of these. Uh, do you want to heal on? It'd be a good idea to heal on. Actually, we, sh we should be fine. If we upgrade Levi, man, I think we can fire off this. Go for this. Should get Eskinor down. And then next turn, maybe we can ult Dairy and kill her. I know he doesn't have, like, the most damage on his ult, especially considering my Levi is only 1-6. I think it's, like, 630% damage at the base. But it's a lot of crits, man. A lot of crits on this man. He kind of seems like, um... Kind of gives me, like, a very, gr well, a very different version of Green King. <laughs> but, like, the guaranteed crit's just really, really good. Okay, so I think we'll fire off this and go for this. And then hopefully the ult's going to finish her off. But, yeah, he's just a crit machine, man. There are crits left and right here. But that all uh, should get Derry down. And I think we get guaranteed crit on this as well. So I guess that's something that boosts up the uh, the single target damage even more. Because even an ungeared man, what was that like 60k crit? That's gonna that's gonna take down most things. If I had him um, like what is it, four six super awakened man? I think that'd be a pretty easy one shot on whoever had like the lowest health there. All right, so we just queued into a really easy bot matchup. So I thought we'd cut that one out. We'd skip it because I really enjoyed the first matchup, man. That was really really fun. Um, but yeah, let's see what, uh, Levi can do moving forward. I, um, I'm, I'm seeing potential in this character, definitely. He doesn't seem like a complete dud. However, this team is going to be tricky. It looks like we got a Lost Vein, a Goddess Elizabeth, so, and a Dairy as well, man. There's just, like, three solid god-tier characters to try and contend with here. Okay, he's going to go straight for the Gotha. Makes sense, because he wants to, um, what's it? Make sure he doesn't get drained. But here, I think we want to... Um, I think we want to upgrade Goddess Liz. Makes sense initially. And let's merge there. And I think if I fire this off... Do, actually, I, I probably want to save this card on Gotha in all fairness. Yeah, let's save it. So one thing that my opponent doesn't have is a way to cleanse debuffs. So as long as we can take advantage of that, we should be pretty good. Like the Apple Pies and also Merlin on the sub, despite having a lower CC, should give us the kind of advantage we need to potentially win here. But we'll see what happens. Oh, Gotha. We, at least we got the cheat death. So worst case scenario... Gotha's is probably okay, but he is getting stunned. But the good thing about even Gotha getting stunned is that you can still heal somebody that's stunned. So that's a pretty good time. But we definitely want to heal up here. Um, can I see how many like alt levels are on the Lost Vein? Mm. We could risk it. I don't think it's worth risking though. So I think we just go for this and let's um, start slashing down that Lost Vein. Oh no, I didn't mean to go for the shield there. Actually, maybe there I should have shielded up um, instead of firing off the stun. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, it didn't make any sense. Definitely, the stun was the right play. I'm happy with that. But I wish I'd just pressed that Levi card a bit sooner. But if we can line up a play to um, get him down next turn and Goddess Liz doesn't have another stun, we might be okay. I think we can still get that Derry. Even with her evade, but Gotha's ult, so we should be okay there. So let's use that. Actually, I think I'm going to start off by nuking in. And I might as well use this card on Levi as well, actually. And then I think we'll go for Gotha's ult. Because I just want to get uh, Lost Fane down a bit more. Oh man, we really didn't deal too much damage there. Has he got like Gil Thunder on the sub? Wow, the amount of damage mitigation was uh, a bit scary there, man. We barely took anything. Barely dealt anything, sorry. But hopefully we should be able to nuke down that Lost Vein next turn with Levi's ult. 
But yeah, that was uh, <laughs> a, a bit unimpressive, man. Okay, so let's fire off this. Let's upgrade. Actually, let's merge and then go for the shield. Yeah, I think that's the best play. So we cancel um, the buff, which is perfect. And then hopefully we're going to crit. Oh, no. Yeah, it's the cheat death there. Oh, dude, I forgot to play around that. It's still fine. We've got we got Goddess Liz's ult next turn. We've got some great upgrade follow-ups. But yeah, Levi, he doesn't look like a, a deadlock breaker. And I would say it, it kind of looks like... Um, like Derriere and Lost Vein are such incredible characters. I think it's uh, a bit tough to compete with them. Okay, didn't break the shield there. That's great news. Absolutely amazing news. So... The thing is, we kind of need to break the shield there, though. Or else, yeah, we're in big trouble. So I think we go for this. I think we go for this slash. And then let's try and, try and get that off. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing too much to that shield, man. While uh, she has the shield active, cancels all um, additional effects. So yeah, I don't th think Levi, like, especially in a match like this, it kind of really highlights that he's he's maybe not a beyond god tier crazy character that can break um, some of the more control focused deadlocks. I guess it's not really a control team here, but Goddess Liz, man, she's a, a tough obstacle to get past. Right, he went pretty pretty all in there. So I think what we need to do here. Upgrade Goddess Liz and stun the Goddess Liz. We've got to hope that Lost Fame Melly's ult doesn't one-shot us. And if it doesn't one-shot us, then we reflect all the damage. And uh, that will be a really, really good time. But we'll, we'll see what happens. If I can draw like a Levi Spike card. Or two of them, man. We might be able to get... Okay, that was a really good top deck. That was an amazing top deck. Oh my goodness. Yes! Okay, those are the cards we need, man. That is that's really, really good. Okay, I need to hope I just don't die here. So please reflect. Massive reflect. Okay, oh yes. Okay, so that, that Lost Fane's dead. We heal up <laughs> loads of damage there. So yeah, that is just perfect, man. That's so, so good. Um, so here, I'm going to go for like the double Levi play. Straight into uh, Goddess Liz's. Oh, there we go. Well, um, I'm, I'm really not too sure how we beat that team, but we did it anyway, man. I think it was the, um, uh, what is it, the apple pies at the start, getting that ghost to drain in, uh, just really controlling the ults. So, yeah, shout out to Apple Pies and Merlin, super carrying us there. Uh, but that was an interesting match, man. That certainly was uh, was good fun. However, Levi, he didn't really have the opportunity to shine there. Uh, we did a video a little bit earlier on the channel having a look at Titan Aaron. And Titan Aaron, man, if you can get into Titan form, he's just beyond hype. He's just so crazy because he's just constantly coming in with just waves and waves of damage and utility. And he's so hard to... Uh, uh, what does it take down as well with that health-related and defense-related stats buff? Hmm. Okay, I think we upgrade... Um, let's upgrade Goddess Liz here, and let's stun that king. I'm going to just get him immobilized for two turns. It's probably going to be like a Esterosa Torn, maybe two Lost Vein cards, or maybe like um, three Esterosa cards. Oh, yeah, he's going to go for that Lost Vein ult, I think. Interesting. Very interesting. So, if we can <laughs> if we can tank... Um, the, the, the thing is, if he goes for Lost Vein ult, he's got the attack reduction buff from Esterosa, so he's probably not going to be able to uh, one-shot anyway. So, yeah, I think... Am I going to egg him on here? Uh... Let's go for Asterosa, man. We might take a bit of damage, but we're also going to heal the majority of damage that we take from his counter. Because uh, Goddess Liz is buff. 
uh, with regeneration. Also applies to counter, so you see we take damage, but then we heal like a big portion of that back and also reflect. So we're actually dealing a fair chunk to Estorosa, but because King has the lowest health, we didn't get guaranteed uh, crits on Estorosa there. However, next turn, if we go for ult on Estorosa, he should die, maybe. No, we still got his, like, commandment attack buff. But Lost Vein is, uh, screwed there, man. He's gonna take so much damage back. Actually, maybe we need to go for Lost Vein next turn. Is the taunt down? The taunt is down, so yeah. If we go for Estorosa, it's non-guaranteed crit, so I think we just get that Lost Vein. We can't debuff Estorosa. Um, so I think we're actually gonna stun King and then fire off the attack disable. But yeah, Levi should have hopefully a pretty clean finish on that Meliodas there. Should be guaranteed crit. Oh no, not quite. Okay, I guess it is that attack, uh, what is it, debuff from Estorosa. That took him down uh, a bit of an additional peg there. But yeah, I'm happy with that play, man. I think that worked out quite well in the end. Um... Estorosa, I don't know exactly what his ult does. I think it like prepares a counter and then absorbs like the next attack or something like that. Because he doesn't um, immediately use it. So I think, am I just going to bait out on Levi? Or is it the next ult that gets cancelled? Oh, I've totally forgotten, man. Okay, so we use it on Levi. I think that cancels Levi's attack. So yeah, didn't get to use an attack. Oh no, cancels the entire turn. What? What? Oh my god, that's so good. I can see why people like Estorosa now. That makes sense. Oh my god. I didn't know he did that. <laughs> oh, I imagine some people are like, Seaton, you're such a mug in the comment section. And those people, uh, they're not wrong, man. They're certainly not wrong. Um... Okay, let's just go in for everything that we can here on Estorosa. Yeah, I, I think we use that just to get him down and guarantee that we finish off with a crit. We've also got the attack reduction. I'm not too sure if he's going to smack us with those counters too hard. Oh yeah, Goddess Liz is getting nuked down a bit. Oh my goodness. That card didn't deal very much damage. Oh. we get petrified here on Goddess Liz, we're in big trouble, man. <laughs> we're in really, really big trouble. Um, we'll see what happens. I wish I'd done a shield a bit earlier. Oh, no, he's got another king card. Oh, please don't drain and then petrify. That's going to be bad news. That's such bad news. Oh, no, he's going to petrify Gotha? Oh, no petrify. Sweet. Okay, that's, gr that's good news. That's really good news. Um... Okay, Estorosa doesn't have a counter on him. I don't think we can burst King down with all the luck in the world. So yeah, I think we go for this and then get Estorosa down. It's probably the uh, the best single target damage play we have here. Let's go, Levi. Finish the job off, mate. Not too bad. And then I think this is going to mitigate a good amount of damage we take from King's ult. Uh, somebody's probably dead, though. King, I think he's, like, got a few Super Awakening levels. I'm not too sure he's maxed, though. Oh, that shield. <laughs> yeah, that, that attempt to break through the shield just didn't work too well there, did it? Right, I think if we go for this, um, it should be enough. Let's give it a go. Oh, yeah, we just cancel the shield, don't we? Oh, that's awesome. Get the guaranteed crit. Gotha finishes off uh, King there. I think being able to get through all of the buffs of the ult is quite nice. I thought he only cancelled stances actually, but maybe I, I misread uh, something on the spotlight. Let's have a look at the translated abilities. Oh yeah, I just misread it, man. So I think this maybe makes uh, Levi, because he has the ability to cancel buffs. Um... I'm not too sure if he's like a full counter to Titan Eren. I think the best way probably to counter Titan Eren, uh, at least from my brief experience so far today, is to kill him before he goes Titan mode. But Levi's ult, you know, you can remove the um, uh, the buffs in Titan mode. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Might might be a bit of uh, interesting counterplay there with Levi. 
Right. Then we just got a nice little finish for Levi next turn. So I think we'll go for this. Actually, let's upgrade. Go for the snazzier cards. Should be a nice little finish here on Merlin. <laughs> oh, that skate around, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. I think that is our, it for our first look at Levi today. So hopefully you did enjoy uh, the PvP video. And if you did, if you do me a massive favor and smash that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching. Take care. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.